Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. The paper I've chosen today is 2023, June 3, 1. And we're going to look into web page. So here, task 3, web page. Let's begin. You are working as part of a team of web developers at Tawara Web and have been asked to create parts of a web page for a client. Okay, so here, if you notice, in your confidential, the files given, it is just one file, which is for the other task. We don't have any files given for the web page. That is, you will have to create the CSS and the web page. Okay, this is like kind of a very easy paper. Okay, so just let's look into it create a css okay let's open the application i use dreamweaver here so create new css we are asked to create a style sheet so open css get a blank css okay now here let's save the css no css file uh, there is no file name yeah, there is no file name, but let's save this with our own file name. Sorry, let's go to the location that is your work area. Mm. Let's save it with our center number followed by our candidate number. Okay, make sure it is CSS. Okay, now let's start working on it. You are supposed to set the font for heading 1, 2, 3 and the paragraph style so that the browser selects and displays the font Calibri. If not available, you will have to select the font Helvetica Noia. Yeah, Noia. And then if neither one of these are available, it should display sans serif font. Okay, now let's open the rule, CSS rule. You click on new CSS rule here. The selected type is tag and we're working on heading one first. Choose heading one, click OK. And the font family, they say it's supposed to be Calibri, Helvetica, Noya our sans serif so let's find that the closest one let's see the closest one i have Arial here helvetica sans serif so let's edit that font family Arial. change it to calibri and then helvetica it's supposed to be noia n-e-u-e n-e-u-e and then sans serif. So this is the only rule we need to define here. Click OK. We get for heading 1. If you notice, heading 2, heading 3 and paragraph is going to be the same uh, definition. So you can either add it here as comma heading 2, comma heading 3, comma paragraph. Paragraph is style P okay so all four will be applied with the same definition or you can do it this way also you highlight it copy and paste change this to heading 2 paste heading 3 change it to heading 3 okay and finally paragraph Okay, so all these are correct. So I leave it to be on one line. Okay, so I leave it to be like this. Okay, place a copy of your CSS in your evidence document. It is the copy, okay, not a screenshot. So you will copy the CSS style here. Open your evidence. And this is supposed to be step 12. So step 12, paste your coding there. That is your CSS definition there. 
okay done with that next next step create all the head section of a web page to meet the specification okay now we'll open a web page let's go back to dreamweaver file new we are creating a web page so open html okay there we have it we are supposed to create tags for these so let's go to the coding okay now here before we start on we don't need all these we just need document html so delete the rest because that is, this is an old version so it might affect so we just need html and then again we only need html here for the second tag okay so delete off the rest and then let's continue so they say it has to be in the head section okay head section we have title we are starting with the title so we don't need the meta tag there as well okay so delete off the meta tag whatever is there and let's begin with title the title for the web page they say it's supposed to be weather data it's untitled document there the title change it to type weather data okay so that will be the title so we are done with the title move the cursor to the end and enter once so that you get a new line okay now next we are starting with a meta tag so open a meta tag all these sets all these are going to be a meta tag okay so let's do the first one open a meta tag meta highlight meta and tab key once press the tab key on the keyboard now next they say it has to be the character encoding so it's basically uh, with a name a, a character set we are working on character encoding so character set choose character set and choose the one mentioned here it is iso 88591 if it is not available in the list you can still type it okay make sure it is correct character set iso it is 8859-1 so highlight that and press the tab key once so you get that okay it's supposed to be ISO 8859 so just change ISO to capital okay it's not going to affect anything just uh, it's mentioned as capital so you can change it to capital to be at the safer side okay and then close the tag we are done with the first meta tag next it is the name you're working on and it is the author okay we're going to set the author so open a meta tag again meta and as i told you earlier we are working on name and the name is going to be author okay you're working on author type author move the cursor to the end and then the description is they say the author to Tawara web followed by a space and your name so description I mean content sorry content is Tawara and then Tawara web space your name type your name close the tag enter move to the next line and then open a new meta tag now it is the name description okay you're working on description now next open a meta tag now the name is description okay and then let's move on to the content for your description 
its weather data for the Tawara region. So content, type the content, weather data for the Tawara region. Close the tag. Okay, next, open a meta tag. Now we are working on viewport. Okay, so open a tag, meta. Content, uh, sorry, name. It's viewport you're working on. And then in the viewport, they say the width of the device must be used with an initial scaling of two. So this has to be typed. So we'll have to set the width. So content, the content is width equal device width comma initial scaling is equal to two set it to be a decimal please it works better okay so 2.0 close the tag because it's mentioned here initial scaling has to be to enter let's do one more tag again it's meta tag okay let's open the meta tag first and now here you're working on keywords okay for use by search engines for this page now we need to find the keywords for this page so it could be the ones which are used uh, repeatedly okay so i choose the keyword to be they are working for uh, tawara so i choose tawara as one of the keyword and then they are working on weather data so i choose another keyword as weather okay so they are that's the keyword again now we are working on name and then under name we are working on keywords sorry let me do that again name and then keywords now the content for the keyword are the ones which we found so i choose it to be tawara space weather close the tag because i find those to be repeating because we are working for a tawara region and we are finding the weather data okay so those words are being repeated uh, throughout the page so that can be that could be the keywords okay so we are done with the meta tags and then one last tag, set the default target window to blank if a new web page is open from within this page. So we'll have to set the target for the window. So targets are always under base tag. So choose base and target and choose blank from the list. Okay, close the tag okay and then once done we'll save this just in case you need them so save it the one save as mm, candidate number followed by your center number okay so we'll have it if any editing to be done you can do it now place a copy of your HTML source in your evidence document. Copy again, okay? So copy the content, paste it in your evidence under step 13. So it's gonna be step 13, paste your tags. Okay, so I'm repeating again. So it's basically when you are creating a meta tag, it's gonna be meta followed by if it is character, it is 
car set and then you choose the character set okay based on the data provided and then if it is anything else close the tag at the end and then open a meta tag again and then followed by name you choose the name yeah you choose the whatever you're supposed to work on if it is author description viewport or keywords you choose whatever is required followed by content okay again content will be mentioned whatever is the content you're working on and then close the tag and and then um, for this page you have a target to be set so it's base target okay it's supposed to be blank choose blank for this page it's supposed to be blank sorry so this is the basic requirement of this paper so it is basically the meta tags they are working on okay if they ask for character meta character set and choose meta character set and choose the character mentioned and then if it is meta uh, any contents to be added give the name and then choose the name if it is author description viewport or uh, viewport or keywords okay choose the name for it and then content provide the content mentioned okay and then finally you will save your evidence and print your evidence choose a correct printer and print your evidence okay uh, i think this is the most one of the easiest paper so i hope that was helpful see you guys in another video thank you bye bye